This week, we are the podcast that flaps in the night. Hi everybody, welcome to Let's Play. Uh, joining us as always is Sorg. Sorg, how you doing and what did you play this week? I got a jacket and I've been playing Puzzle <laughs> Quest, Marvel Marvel Puzzle Quest, uh, because damn you man, Mike. And uh, I have beat all the levels in Angry Birds 2, or I'm sorry, Angry Birds Star Wars 2. So, cool. yes. All right. Uh, Chachi, what did you play and how are you? I, I'm doing well. I, I'm finally able to play GTA Online. Yay! Um, so that's what I've been doing. And uh, I found this interesting system that happens after you reach a, a certain level where people can put bounties on your head. <laughs> yep. And uh, what it does is it turns your cursor on the map red. And let everybody know where you are, so they chase you down. So right now, I'm currently hiding out in the garage that I bought. Don't tell um, anybody. Because every time I walk out, there's someone waiting for me. Oh, no. So. You're holed up in there. Yep. I come out, I kill someone, I go back in. <laughs> nice. Riz, what have you played this week, and how have you, have you, how have you been? I have been good, Bobby. I have been playing GTA 5 and online. Uh, that's about it. Wow. Short list. Because Short list for- I have interviews and shit. Oh. All right. Uh, Short list for everybody this week. Adult responsibilities. What's that? Okay. Adult responsibilities. <laughs> Short list for everybody this week is I only played Avengers Alliance a little bit, uh, Pokemon X, which, um, by the way, m- might I say it's very, very, very easy. A lot easier than I remember. I think it's because of that experience share that, that they added. Um, all my Pokemon are like level 40-something right now, and um, I got the Mega, Mega Evolutions. Mega Charizard is amazing. By the way, um, I've been playing GTA 5, of course, uh, a little bit of online, and I played the challenge this week, which was Darkwing Duck. Did anybody else play the challenge this week? No, I didn't. No, I did not. No. No. So how was it, Bobby? (laughs) I'm the only one that talks about the challenges each week. (laughs) No, Um, it it was a lot better. (laughs) It was a lot better than I remember it being. As a kid, um, I, I remember it, uh, it. It was a difficult game when I was a kid, and it, it was pretty difficult what I played of it today. Um, I didn't even get to the first level. I kept dying. So there was that. But it, it, it holds up pretty good. Um, it's one of those classic Capcom games. So um, Capcom Disney games um, in the vein of like DuckTales and Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers, which is our challenge for next week. Nice. So that, that's a classic as well. So. That's my review. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even get to see any of the villains, though. The villains were classic in that show. Mm-hmm. Steelbeak and uh, the Liquidator, Megabolt, Mega Duck. Did you not get very far? Is there, like, one at the end of every level, or is it more um, complex than I don't than that? know. I've never gotten to the end of one of the levels. Really? <laughs> yeah. I, I think like I rented ever? it one weekend, and I didn't get very far on it at all. Okay. Okay. So, that oh. I remember. I mean, it was a long time ago. So Yeah, of course. Awesome. Yeah. Um, anybody from the chat room? No? No. <laughs> oh, we're batting a thousand today. <laughs> Anyways, um, moving on to our things you should be ma- made aware of. Um, the new releases this week, uh, Lego Marvel Super Heroes, which Mad Mike talked a little bit about last week, and I think he picked up the game. Um, yeah. I heard him say that it was really good. Yeah, he's been tweeting um, about it. Chachi, I think you said you were going to maybe pick it up. <laughs> I, I will eventually. I ran into a dilemma today. Um, I forgot that Lego Marvel Super Heroes came out uh, today, and it was not in my budgeted allotment for video games. Um, so I had to, I, I had to sit and think long and hard as to whether or not to pick up Marvel and wait for Call of Duty, or wait on Marvel and pick up Call of Duty. I think I think and we know that answer. It was, it was really, really difficult to decide. Um, but I, I'll be picking up uh, Call of Duty and waiting on Marvel. Yeah. Um, Riz, are you going to pick up uh, Marvel? I'm Legos? thinking about it. 
but I don't know if I want to do that yet. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, on the I, fence about. I'm not I'm a fence. big. I've I've said this before. I'm not a big Lego guy. Yeah, me either. Uh, but it just seems. I mean, I I do like Marvel. And I do like the I did like the DC comic, the DC one. And I would probably pick this up later on, mm-hmm. but not yet. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm with you guys. Um, I'm probably gonna wait till it it goes on one of those Microsoft sales maybe to pick it up. Uh, I'm just not into that le- the Lego games that much. I got I grabbed Lego Batman two, and I'll probably play that on the 25 hour thing. But that's about as I got that for 10 bucks. So. That should tell you something right there for me and Lego games, I guess. Yeah, that's I I, I like the Lego games, but mm-hmm. I pick we pick them up for cheap. Like the last one we picked up was the Indiana Jones one. Uh, I remember playing the Star Wars one uh, from my brother's collection, um, and and I still you know I'm keeping an eye out to grab the uh, one of the Batman ones. So, but yeah, <laughs> uh, it doesn't seem like a you need to pay full price when it first comes out kind of release, does it? No. Not at all. Well, first off, it's an, it doesn't cost as much as the rest of the games. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, no, it's, I didn't it's, know this. Oh, it's ten bucks cheaper than the. So it's like forty nine. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it, it's not something that I I love the games. I well, mm-hmm. the superhero ones at least. Not um, like the Star Wars one was okay, and I don't like Indiana Jones, so I'm not going to waste the money. <sighs> And I don't like Lord of the Rings, so I'm not going to waste the money. Um, yeah, I can hear geeks across the internet crying out. Um, Meh. Meh. Uh, I, I, Meh. I'm just not. Uh, I'm not into them, so I'm not going to waste the money on them. But the superhero ones, I, I played Batman to 100% completion. Yeah, I remember me saying about that. Um, and I'll do the same for uh, Marvel. But it, it's. Right now, I, because as you know or may not know, I do side jobs to pay for my video games. Like stealing cocaine from Mexicans? <laughs> no. I mean, the, all the filming and stuff wow. I do, that pays for my video games. And, That's in GTA Online. <laughs> and uh, I, I put away the money for both Call of Duty and um, – Assassin's Creed 4 because I take time off of work for Assassin's Creed. Cool. And so I, I completely forgot the game was out and completely um, had to hurry up and decide. <laughs> so it was it was troubling. That, yeah, that would be a dilemma, I guess. Like if you're into one thing, there's there's so many games coming out like around Christmas time, which is what season we're in right now. Another one of those big games that's out is Batman: Arkham Origins. Um, I I I, I don't know because Rocksteady's not doing it. I'm not sure. I, I want to see it in action before I get it. Yeah, wait for the reviews. Yeah, and 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 IGN hasn't reviewed it yet, and they said, when are we going to review this thing? So. I'm thinking they're holding out before or until the game comes out, so people go out and buy it. Then they find out it's a piece of crap. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so we'll see. I don't know. I'm I'm young Batman too. It's like I don't know. But uh, that's not the only game that came out this week. We had Ninja Turtles. Uh, I I guess it's a, a, a more graphically intensive one than the one that they released for arcade. It's like a full release on Xbox and Wii U, I think. Um, and also, Just Dance Kids came out, which nobody, none of us will be getting, right, guys? Don't be so sure about that. Really? Secret sometimes. Belt, All right. Sometimes, not, sometimes I like to I dance. Like to bust a move. Sometimes <laughs> I like to dance sometimes in front of my Xbox, like that. But it's like the Kids Bob version. Take, Have you ever listened kids to Kids Bob music, Bobby? Have yes. you ever I listened wanna... to Kids Bob? Yes. I was forced to when I was. Then you know. Yesterday. So wait, what? Wait, which is this Ninja Turtles one? So this is a. I guess it's like a full game. Like versus the because they just released the arcade yeah. one over the summer that was the Out of the Shadows or something like that. Yeah. So yeah, that's and what I'm confused about. Nothing from this. Hold on, I do have a launch trailer here. So I'm sorry, I'm the Ninja Turtles guy. Um. So. Um. <clears throat> yeah, it's just the launch trailer. 
Yeah, it's a side scroller. Um, Again, based on the popular Nickelodeon re- reboot series. Hmm. So I'm still I'm still trying to come up with stuff. You can go ahead. Yeah. All right. Um, we're gonna move on to our uh, next thing. You should be made aware of. Um, be aware of how loud you're playing your Xbox. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, over in uh, Britain, there was a man who was playing his Xbox entirely too loud. Um, his name is Jason Martin, uh, 41. Oh no, the, 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 that's the neighbor. Um, his this guy was playing his Xbox too loud, and his neighbor got mad. Um, he's been jailed for seven years after ch- chomping on the man's penis <laughs> following mm. a video game dispute. Um, and the guy had two teeth. <laughs> that's the funny part of the story. <laughs> there is no he, funny part to this story, Bobby. He said he bit it like a sandwich. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Um, yeah, so be aware of how loud you're playing your games, everybody. That's your and, lesson of the week. And no, notice what, who your neighbors are. Yeah, yeah. Well, that was a former friend. <laughs> it was a friend. The guy's neighbor and friend. So All I have to say chunk. is penis sandwich. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I put the hashtag well, in, our, that, in our doc here. It says hashtag sandwich dick. <laughs> wow. That's so, I, uh, I don't yeah. I don't know what's going on right now. It's amazingly <laughs> wrong is what it is. <laughs> the fact that that was a thing is just wrong. Oh, UK. Hey, hey, you know what? I bet you there's 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 sandwich dicking going on all over the nation, but that they have to blame oh. this one on video games. It's just another example so, yep, of a scapegoat. Yes. GTA video games Manager. are not the problem. Putting your dick in the wrong place is the problem. Yes. It wasn't the guy's fault. It was... His fault no, wasn't His fault is a crazy neighbor. I'm saying, how do you get in that position? I think it's yeah. a little weird. Just yeah. saying. How, how do you put your junk in that in that, in that that spot? How, uh, yeah, I mean, how do you do that anyways? Do you, like, get knocked out? Or was he knocked out in the beginning? Or... I... I don't Can we start it's talking just, about video games again? And and the guy was wearing pajamas. <laughs> so <laughs> just add that to the of picture. Of course he was. He in great. <laughs> oh my. So all right, we're gonna move on. So let's, before let's we get in trouble games. here, let's talk about games, Bobby. Yeah. Let's talk um, about we're gonna video talk games. about a controller in our news segment. Um, this controller. Uh, Brother Sorg wrote an art- article you can check out on insertcointobegin.com about the Steam controller and its many uses, mainly playing video games. Um, it has an orange portal and a blue portal, which act as the right mouse and left mouse, and you can basically set it up how you want, which which is nice for different games. Um, I really like that feature. Um, what do you guys think? I, I don't think but there the Steam needs to be a Steam controller. What's that? I don't think there needs to be a Steam console. Why? Okay. Why? 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 Oh, there's they have a computer. A they have a console. That's why. It's, yeah, it, it's yeah. called computers. Yeah. Yeah, but they're and, trying and to jump into making, the market. I mean, we're making a big deal out of something that's not going to work or it's not going to be huge. It, it, the be. thing is overrated. It, it's kind of like the Ouya. Everybody's talking about it now, but once it comes out, no one cares because it's not going to replace anything in the living room. Also, has a talk button. Good for it's the talk still, button. Yeah, it's still. Yeah. Like, we're getting more to the service, and I think more about the controller. What do we think about the controller um, as as a method? I think it's a interesting <clears throat> new way to look at it. It's an interesting new thing. That's it. Okay. It's what physical thing. buttons does it have? It doesn't have it doesn't have buttons. I mean, it has exactly. a couple buttons, but um, it's mainly like a mouse. Mm-hmm. And you can I, I so do like the it, fact that you can set it up differently for different games. Yeah. I mean, um, I mean, this is. Which, I, and they're it, trying to standardize something because I mean, we've had controllers like this that you can map for the longest time. Yeah, um, yeah, I think I think most likely the most used uh, controllers on Steam games uh, are Xbox and PlayStation controllers. So they're trying mm-hmm. to make something that's their own. And, and even as they're showing off in this demo, 
Uh, they're also trying to solve the problem of how do I play games on my TV that really, really, really weren't made for playing on a TV and with a controller. Um, they're showing off in this uh, uh, one of these, um, oh, it looks like one of these, uh, 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 not SimCity, but Battle Risk kind of games, um, where they're using a mouse and everything. And, and, and if this touchpad idea works as as they're showing off and unfortunately we're not going to know any of this until it gets out and people get it in their hands which yeah. and i wonder because i mean you think valve is the person you know you can say about the consoles valve is the is the company that revolutionized pc gaming you know i think pc gaming is single-handedly alive because of these guys and the system that they made uh with steam and and you know which is really a precursor to what we have now with the app stores that we talk about on the awesome cast um so i don't think it's outside the realm that these guys could i think they've gotten big enough they could make a play in the retail if you start seeing if they start doing displays at walmart alongside the xboxes and the playstations i think it has half a chance I don't think it's going to beat Xbox or PlayStation mm -hmm. this generation, but they don't need to. They really, really don't need to. Um, do we? It's kind of it? like a jumping on point. Yeah, but uh, as far, but but really, I think that's the problem. Much like you're you're seeing a problem with all these new kind of controls that look really cool, but people are like, well, you know, you know, like the Google Glass. Nobody gets it until they put it on their head, right? Um, mm -hmm. Nobody's going to get this controller until they get it in their hands if it's worthwhile or not. Uh, and if they don't have a mechanism to do that, it, you're right, it's not going to work. Uh, it's going to remain uh, enthusiasts that always go for this kind of thing anyways. So it needs cool. to be dead simple. It really does need to be dead simple. Uh, it needs to get in your hands and make sense. Mm -hmm. So, All right, uh, next we're going to do a little bit of sightseeing. Okay. Um, around Grand Theft Auto V. Um, oh. Kotaku and uh, roadtrippers.com... Um, I think .com. Roadtrippers.kinja.com. Um, they uh, compiled a list of different places that actually exist in the real world and their GTA counterparts around uh, San, San, uh, San Andreas. Um, there's the Big Creek Bridge. Um, the Bixby Bridge is the real-life counterpart. I mean, it's just really neat that, like, some of them, like, uh, like I, everybody's probably been to the observatory, guys. Uh, it's in one of the missions. Mm -hmm. And, of course, the Vinewood yep. sign, stuff like that. Um, but did you guys know the Playboy Mansion is actually in the game? Hmm. Wow, that's a pretty good depiction of it. Huh. It'll come up here in a second. Uh, that's cool. I, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't realize how much. Th have they done this to this effect in past GTA games? They they kind of did in San Andreas, mm -hmm. but not in as much detail. Mm -hmm. um, because like a lot of these like screenshots compared to their real life counterparts, you can't. It's very difficult to tell what's a screenshot from the game and what's a real picture. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like that's crazy. Like there's um, one of. Uh... Like I don't think it's I don't think it's on there, but I have come across the Hoover Dam many of times in this game, or something of that nature. If there is a dam in uh, in Los Angeles, I'm sorry. That's awesome, and and you're right. I'm looking at like the one for the Griffith Observatory. Let's see if I can bring it up here. Mm -hmm. and, and yeah, these don't like at first glance. They here, look can, exactly alike. I can't tell you which <laughs> one's the video game. <laughs> That's incredible. Yeah, look at the Los Santos Forum and L.A. Forum. That's like, it's crazy. That's awesome. But yeah, there's there's like tons of places they put in. Um, I, I know on the Nerdist podcast they were talking about it in Indoor Kids where they found the uh, um, Meltdown Comics where where uh, the Nerdist offices are, mm -hmm. and they're like it has a different sign, but it's it, you they know it's the building. They're like that's that's our logo and everything. <laughs> that's awesome. So, yeah, cool. Places exist there, and and, and and it's a big departure from. I remember, I don't know if it was, sorry, L O L A Noir or something like that. Or no, it was another game. It was uh, some. I think it was maybe Driver or something. <laughs> no, because <laughs> actually, the one, actually the one I'm thinking of, what, whatever the one was that was like GTA in London. It was like a GTA three in London. They did on like I think the PlayStation two, and yeah. they were they were the thing they were putting over was we mapped London. Wow. 
and that's where they based the game. Like they accurately mapped the entire like London or something. Wasn't like, like London 1979 or something like that? Grand Theft Auto London. Well, yeah, but that was a top down one. But I mean, this was like a, th- a 3D. Oh, okay. One. Um, so I mean, and to the point where you know, again, you know, they're not going for complete accuracy with GTA. Um, you know. But to be able to lampoon and put these marks in there, I think it's really, really cool. And, and uh, I know you're going to get frustrated, Riz, because we're bringing up L.A. Noir again. But um, L.A. Noir was like a perfect replica of what L.A. looked like in like that time period. Yeah. yeah well, I mean, everybody not, was saying not, about, oh, look, I'm that's still there. That's there. Looked, I'm not mad because it looked like Los Angeles. <laughs> You know that, right? <laughs> I know yeah. it looks like LA. I'm mad because of the gameplay and it's stupid. <laughs> from from the chat though, uh, uh, Mad Mike says, "Oh please, Spider-Man 2 accurately mapped New York City, and that was back in 2003." Yeah, Not Spider-Man wrong. 2 was a good game for its time. <laughs> yes, but yeah, I mean, it, not to this detail though. We're talking about yeah, yeah, exactly. I, visually. I mean, it's... go ahead again. Again, we're missing the point here. They they have they have two discs, one for loading and one for playing. Mm-hmm. They have enough space so they can have that much detail. Mm-hmm. And they've delivered on that detail. And I don't think there's another game that's going to come out there that has that detail. Mm-hmm. Cool. And um, if you have um, gone around and found different locations in GTA, um, send us a, a message on Twitter at, to at InsertCoinTV to tell us where you've been, what, what you've noticed about the game that maybe we haven't found yet. So, um, And don't hashtag it Sandwich Dick. <laughs> no, hashtag it Sandwich Dick. Okay, now, hashtag it Sandwich Dick. Now we're going to get random tweets that just have the hashtag <laughs> in it. All right. Thanks um, a lot, our, Bobby. What's that? That's your fault a lot, Bobby. I'm sorry. I'm really, I'm really glad I took the glass off for this show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you would have been getting tons of sandwich dicks in your face. <laughs> Anyways, moving on to our final news story, um, Titanfall, um, which is coming out for Xbox One. Um, it was released. It, 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 the release date was announced today. Um, it's coming out March 11th um, and 13th for Europe. Um but in North America, it's coming out on March 11th. And they also announced a collector's edition for the game, which includes an 18-inch Titan figure um, with a, a little pilots attached to it. Um, there's also an art book and a poster that come with it. So uh, that's pretty neat looking. The figure is like – I know it's going to be ungodly expensive. Um, and the game, the game looks pretty decent, so – um, if you guys get an Xbox One, are you going to pick up Titanfall? I'm if I if I do, mm-hmm. I will pick up Titan Titanfall. This is um. As, no, go, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I will pick if I picked up the Xbox One. Mm-hmm. I'm going to get the first two games. I'm going to get Titanfall and Rise. Mm-hmm. Those See, two I'm games not sold on Rise. Awesome. It looks like boring God of War to me. With quick time events. No, no. You don't like says this is coming from the guy who is currently running a black market on uh, uh, Animal Planet or whatever. Not <laughs> Animal Planet. Animal Planet. <laughs> I have a black market on cute kittens. <laughs> Anyways, no. I mean, I just don't see the the every every gameplay footage I look at Rise. I'm just not impressed with it. Mm-hmm. I don't know why. I just don't have a. I would. It doesn't feel five hundred dollars worthy, right? No, not yet. It feels like God of War, which has been done over and over. I go back to it. I don't think anybody's going to really jump on this console. I don't think there's enough there until we see a Halo. Until it's uh, until we can do a franchise, really. Um, Titanfall might be their Halo. The answer, though. Yeah, I think I that might be that. on PS4 too. We'll though. see. It, it has to come out and impress people and knock mm-hmm. their socks off with with uh, 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 you know Sunday football commercials and everything to get their attention. You know, mm-hmm. um, it could be a franchise, but I mean, it's a cool concept. It looked really nice, but I don't. 
again, and anything, maybe Watch Dogs seems next generation worthy. Mm-hmm. I mean, and it's it's early too. I mean, they're mm-hmm. when the Xbox 360 first came out, it was the same way. Yeah. Um. They 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 kind of limped out with their their games. You know, and I was looking at because uh, somebody had posted uh, 8 Bit Apparel. I follow on Instagram. Great great account to uh, to follow uh, if you're into that kind of stuff. Um, they they uh they posted like a picture of like like something like 14 of the 18 launch titles for the NES, which is kind of mm-hmm. an interesting thing to look at. So I looked up, but there was a list on Wikipedia of launch titles for every console and yeah like like xbox 360 did not have it was all franchises because i want to compare because we're talking about like assassin's creed call of duty ghost there's really a lot of rollover there not really much reason to jump the big games were like cameo Mm -hmm. you know i mean that that, like that was the 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 new franchise game that didn't go anywhere you know um another thing um you almost have to have at least six months to a year with a console yeah because like the developers have to have it for so long in order yeah. to start right now coming up with ideas and just coming you know. up now is stuff they're squeezing into the launch window. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, like Rise could probably be a current gen hey, sword. Mm-hmm. game. What? Hey, sword. Yeah, I know how much you hate to be told about uh, Steam deals. Mm-hmm. But over at uh, cheapassgamer.com, dot oh, com, don't do it, don't do They it, have don't a coupon uh-oh. code. Oh no! For uh, Lego mm. Marvel for twenty two fifty on PC. Oh hey, my wow. god! Oh my That's god! That's a good deal. Stay away, Sorg. Oh, <laughs> I'm bringing up Steam. Oh, tell Lunchbox he gets. No, the you can't. They, you know I buy everything you tell me to. That's on sale <laughs> on this show, like on the process well, of the show. Before I get a chance to think about it, Sorg, you'll have it downloaded to, uh, before we get well, to the end of the see, boss the question thing, or the boss the battle, which is. What is the most embarrassing moment that you've had because of a video game, guys? Going back to that earlier story. Every week Hopefully on this, not- every week on this show, when you make me down like <laughs> crap, like Puzzle Fighter Marvel, and I play it all damn week. <laughs> Lifting up a lemon and to see if it actually means something. <laughs> what? L.A. Noir. Oh. <laughs> I gotta hear the L.A. Noir story sometime, <laughs> but not now. Not now. You just did. That's pretty much it. You just did it. I, I'm going to have to say my uh, my my Candy Crush addiction mm. is probably my most embarrassing moment as a gamer. I would I would have to say um, playing my friend and you, who, who has no video game uh, not like not knowledge, but he 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 isn't very good at video games uh, until we pl- started playing Street Fighter. Uh, one day we were playing, and he just kept punching the same button over and over and over again, That's and he exactly beat me every single time. That's and exactly I bought through the controller it, TV in frustration. You get no, the Bobby, Blanca, and your you most hit. embarrassing moment is the two hundred some hours that you spent playing Marvel's Avengers Alliance. Yeah. That's a close second. <laughs> hey, but at least I'm not a level, level of almost two hundred. <laughs> That's somebody else. Hey, Sorg. Hmm. Um, in order to get that deal, you have to go to cheapassgamer.com. It's still it, it's like twenty six ninety nine without the deal. So that's oh, okay. still it's actually bad. actually Marvel the Marvel Lego game is actually thirty dollars retail on Steam. Yeah, yeah. So that's PC. Yeah, and they're always a little bit cheaper on on PC. So one of the reasons that's, I kind of like PC gaming. So as long as you that's can not bad at all. Up with everything else, that's really not bad at all. I, I, that's yeah. worth it at thirty bucks. I think you get down to twenty. Yeah, I can't really say no. Damn it, Chachi. Hey, I was just being a good actually, guy and letting you know. Thankfully, I don't have a regularly running PC to run these kinds of games right now. So if it Actually, was a- the most embarrassing thing happened uh, this past weekend for me. Okay. Because, uh, well, this actually goes to Mrs. Sorg. <laughs> um, has been destroying me lately in... Uh, Words with friends. I beat her by six points and I start like, you know, freaking out and I was in public. Mm -hmm. And now she's beating me by like 60. (laughs) That'll that'll show you for back talking. That's what I get. Go look at a lemon. (laughs) 
<laughs> this lemon doesn't interest me. <laughs> All right. That's going to do it for us this week. Um, you can follow us on Insert Coin T- TV on Twitter. Um, you can uh, go to our website at insertcointobegin.com. Um, our challenge for this week, once again, is uh, Chip and jo- Chippendale Rescue Rangers for Nintendo. Um, so you can play that. And also um, let us know what, what you've discovered in GTA. Uh, maybe if you can get a screenshot out of it, send us a screenshot. Hashtag sandwich dick. All right, game over, guys. Sandwich dick. <laughs>